At the beginning of this month, snooker legend Stephen Hendry came out of retirement after eight years and has accepted an invitational tour card to compete on the World Snooker Tour for at least the next two seasons. Previously, the seven-time world champion, who is nicknamed the King of the Crucible and Emperor of Snooker, spoke to Sports Scene's Wang Dong about his return to the Senior World Championship, his opinion on Ronnie O'Sullivan and China's Ding Junhui, and much more. Stephen, good to have you with us. Welcome to our show. And uh, let's talk Hi, a little bit know. about the. Uh, 你好，你好。Let's talk a little bit about the return to the、uh, Crucible. Theater for the just concluded senior world championship. Even though you lost in the semifinal, that must mean something to you. Perhaps a sentimental return, if you will. Yeah, it's always special to to play in the Crucible. It's the it's the home of snooker.、Um, it's very similar to like Wimbledon for tennis or Augusta for the Masters. It's it's our premium、um, venue, and I've had、mm -hmm. so many memories in my career. So many good memories. Obviously, seven world titles.、Um, so、yeah. it's always special to play. Uh, in the crucible, records, as we say, are ready to be broken, especially by the younger generation coming up.、Um, for example,、uh, Ronnie has already broken a couple of your records there, and he's getting inch closer to your world championship title. Does that concern you at all? There, there is. There's obviously been many records. When I stopped playing in 2012, I realized、um, that records would be broken because I no longer played anymore, and.、I'm, The players that were all closest to me, like、um, like Ronnie, for example, John Higgins, they were still playing, so they were always going to catch up、mm -hmm. um, with a lot of my records.、Uh, Ronnie overtook me with 147s, with century breaks,、um, with、uh, you know masters titles and and ranking titles. The ones the, 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 there's a couple that that mean more to me than others. Like obviously the seven world titles is a special record to me.、Mm -hmm. um, I'm still the youngest player to ever win the world championship, which is. Which is, is still going to go.、Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be happy. I have to be honest. If Ronnie broke my records,、um, <laughs> but he still has to win another two.、Mm -hmm. So I'm,、uh, you know, we, we'll wait and see. But if he does it, then I have to congratulate him and say, say well done. But、um, there's still, you know, a long way to go. Talking about Ronnie, right? In addition to him,、uh, what about the other players who are actually involved in this feud? You know, Judd Trump, Mark Selby, and Ding. They're still.、Uh, Relatively younger, and also, what do you make of their form right now?、Um, maybe your assessment will be、uh, appreciated. Judd Trump has obviously just had a record-breaking season. He's won six ranking events、mm -hmm. uh, in one season, which has never been done before.、Um, he has had an incredible year as world champion.、Um, I think he'd be very disappointed not to defend his world title better.、Mm -hmm. um, but. He will definitely be he's world number one at the moment by a long way, and I think he'll be number one for a long time to come.、Um, Mark Selby came back to to you know almost top form in the World Championship, whereas the last three or four years he's he's not been in, in such good form.、Um, but it was good to see him back competing、right. at the top level again.、Mm -hmm. um, Ding Junhui, I, I worry whether his time has passed to be world champion. Although he has everything. Uh, in his game to be world champion,、mm. I, I, I still think he's one of the he's one of the best players in the world. But、um, I question whether he has the hunger、um, right, right. still to be world champion. You know, to be quite honest with you, I spoke to him lately as well. I even mentioned the、uh, killer instinct right there, and I asked him about it. Of course, he believes that his best time is yet to come. He says he's only 33. He's got you know he's got like a lot of time ahead. He still would like to. Play for at least ten more years, if not more. So, do you think he might still have his,、uh, shall we say, second spring around, or do you、uh, believe so? I, I certainly hope so, because、um, as I say, I, I love Ding as a player. I think the two players in the world with the best cue ball control、mm -hmm. are Ronnie Sullivan and Ding Junhui, in terms of you know making big breaks, century breaks.、Um, his game is is incredible,、um, and I think. He should have been world champion by now. He's he's that good.、Um, you know, it's it's amazing to me that he hasn't won the world championship yet.、Mm. But as you say, still 33. Ronnie Sullivan was 45, I think, when he、right. won the world、exactly. championship this month.、Mm -hmm. So if you go by those ages, then Ding has a long way to go. But talking about yourself, Stephen,、uh, at the age of 43, you called it quits、uh, in the year of 2012. I mean. Is there any regret at all,、uh, you know, throughout this whole thing and all these years? Would have, should have, could have for your side to say, hey, maybe I should have really done a bit better, or you know, prolonged my career. The way snooker was run,、um, I think I might have stayed on a bit longer because 
snooker nowadays you can kind of pick and choose which events you play mm -hmm. um, but in those days you had to play in absolutely everything so for me at the sort of um, not playing so well and, and being at the, at the sort of end of you know, near the end of my career it didn't it didn't suit me to play every every week in every tournament where I was like I would like to pick and choose only the big events so if that situation was then then maybe I would stay on for a little while but you know, the other side of the coin is that I wasn't playing well enough to win and uh, for me, the whole pleasure of playing snooker is to win. Absolutely. And when I didn't have those, I didn't have that success. I didn't enjoy it as much. Uh, ever thought about coming back, though? I mean, you did pretty well in this. Uh, just concluded, as I mentioned, the senior championship. Uh, even though you lost to White, and uh, you know, you never know. What do you make of it? Um, well, yeah. As I said, then I've been working a little bit with um, Steve Feeney, who is a sight right coach, who has coached. Obviously, Stuart Bingham to a world title, Mark Williams to his third world title, mm -hmm. uh, even worked with Ronnie. Um, and I just started to do some work with him. And then, obviously, the whole COVID-19 situation came, locked down for four months. We couldn't play snooker. Right. So it kind of took a, took a, took a break. Um, so I started back again. And I only had really, literally two or three days before the seniors competition with him. Um, so I hope to work more with him in the future. And then we'll never know. You know, we'll see. I mean, definitely play more seniors events. and. And maybe one day, you know, play play in, if I get an invitation to play in, in a bigger event. Are you still a Chelsea fan, given that you live it right outside London and you do like football? I know that part. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I was a, a die-hard fan, as they say. Uh, uh, but if, if I had to pick a team in the Premiership, yeah, Chelsea is my favourite team. You know, it's not really that much widespread. How do we really enhance the level of uh, the influence of this sport in particular? I think what, what really helps with um, promoting a sport in a country is if they have a local hero to support. Um, in Thailand, they had James Watana mm -hmm. in the 80s and 90s, who was a, a top four player and, and won many events. So the whole country got behind James. Uh, in China, obviously, Ding Jinhui, um, the whole country has got behind Ding Jinhui, and that has created this whole interest uh, in, in, in snooker. Um, there was obviously, we went to China many times before Ding Jinhui was even born. Um, but yeah, it certainly helps if each country has their own hero to follow. And then that whole country tends to get involved in that sport. All right. On that note, we need to wrap up the conversation with our Emperor of Snooker and Stephen right there. And uh, wish you all the best. And uh, thank you very much indeed for your time and input. Once again, you take care. Bye for now. Cheers. Cheers.